Hello, I'm Tanner Ahern with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Today's closing bell is sponsored by IMI Global. Third-party verification programs are an important part of your risk management toolkit. You're doing everything you can to select the best genetics, feeds, and health programs, so why not maximize those efforts by opening the door to expanded market opportunities? Visit imiglobal.com today to get started. Records are meant to be broken, and this is especially true when it comes to poultry production. Through September, broiler pr production is up 2.2% compared to 2018, and is expected to maintain a similar year-over-year -year growth to end 2019 at roughly 43.5 billion pounds, the largest on record. This trend is not expected to slow down anytime soon, as 2020 production is forecasted to increase another 4%. The main driver is the additional processing capacity that has already or will come online over the next several months. The total harvest capacity increase will equate to an extra 5 to 6 percent compared to 2018. Furthermore, average bird weights continue to ex exceed expectations and move past historical records. Now, exports have been able to take a portion of the product off the domestic market but have been a bit disappointing compared to forecasts. Through September, broiler exports are up just 0.6%, with projections to end the year up roughly 2%. With growing production, exports in 2020 will be even more critical. Recently, U.S. and Chinese officials confirmed an agreement for China to lift a ban on U.S. poultry imports in exchange for the U.S. to import cooked poultry and catfish. The ban has been in place since 2015 due to avian influenza in the U.S. Prior to the ban, the largest U.S. broiler exports to China occurred in 2008 and 2009 at over 700 million pounds each year. Specific details and timelines are still unknown, however, Cattlefax raised the 2020 broiler export forecast from 4% growth to up 8%, assuming at least, at least 350 million pounds goes to China with potential to reach levels seen a decade ago. Still, the increase in exports will not be enough to offset all of the production hike, as per capita supplies in 2020 are expected to be record large at 96 pounds. Exports would have to grow 20% to keep per capita supplies steady with 2019. Nonetheless, an additional outlet for U.S. product is supportive to the poultry industry and should help set a price floor to the market. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real. The volatility is extreme. The risks are big, but the opportunities for success are there. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 50 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective. Our vision is global. Our focus is you. We provide a direct line of contact with you, our client, to the Cattle Facts team. With our daily updated website, modernized mobile app, or the traditional phone conversation. Cattlefax, the deciding factor. Become a member at cattlefax.com.